Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry. This is Sith Lord is a Metalhead. On today, July 12th, 2023. Just over here, trying to heal, wondering about things. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about that movie, The Sound of Freedom. Now, there's been a lot of things going on that I've been noticing where there's, uh, I've heard reviews about it, that it's a very moving movie. It's a true story uh, about child trafficking. And, you know, it, it's stuff that really happens. So what's getting me about that movie, which I think that if I wasn't messed up the way I am now, I probably would have been in a the theater to go watch it with my wife because, you know, it would have been worth watching, you know, seeing, I, you know, I like seeing true stories like that that develop. Um, the fact that everything in the media that's going on with it, like they don't really want to give it props for some reason. And of course... It's a lot of back and forth politically about the thing. And I'm trying to understand why there's so much talk about it. I mean, isn't there, you know, child trafficking going on? I mean, it's not like it's, it's not true. It is what's going on. So why is it so hard? I mean, these freaking idiots went and did that woman king where they try to make it seem like, uh, you know, that... They were all about fighting slavery, but we know for a fact that that kingdom was the ones promoting slavery. They fucked up the whole history. That wasn't a true story. They basically did a fictional film. So from my understanding, this film is basic facts. And it's like, why is it that they're not pushing this movie the way it should? I found out that um, it was, I think it was owned by Fox, Disney, when they bought Fox. They basically shelved the movie. I think this movie is, uh, should have been out somewhere around 2018, 2019. But they shelved the movie. And I for, I don't know. I, I still don't know the particulars of how they were able to get it out. Because basically, this movie cost, what, like $14 million to make? And it beat out Indiana Jones. A movie that was made over, uh, that was $300 million to make. So, I don't, I don't understand. Why is it such an issue? to have a movie like this and push it. But of course, you know, everybody's got their agendas, everybody's got their things and, you know, like whatever, man. You know, but you know what you just did? You just went and you told people that don't be stupid, don't go see this movie, it's a conspiracy. Now what you did is people who are always in the middle of these things are going to go and watch it. They're going to see it. They're going to see it for what it is and they're going to be like, oh, shit. It was a good movie, <clears throat> and it's a true story. You know, you got facts on everything on there, from my understanding. And I'm sad that, I, like I said, I can't go to a theater to watch it. I would love to go watch in the theater, but I'm just going to have to wait. But we'll see how it goes. But I just wanted to have my little take on that. I just hear, you know, I've been watching certain videos of, you know, people going back and forth. I saw something stupid with Grace Randolph there where she came out with some thing about it being a right movie or whatever. I mean, that is just the most stupidest thing I ever heard. I mean, you know, it's it's a movie about child trafficking, you know, pedophilia, all this shit. And and people are, I guess people are getting exposed, I guess. And, you know, who knows what's going to happen after that. But I just wanted to, you know, have something to say about that. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to wait till it's out on streaming so I can enjoy it. And uh, you guys let me know if you guys saw it. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, and tell me, uh, you know, what you think. All right. But I just wanted to throw that out there. I just find it to be stupid that uh, something like that, that has a true, has some truth in it is trying to be covered up where they trying to push it out. But all you did was intrigue interest. Now, a lot of people are going to go see it. You know, even people who probably, you know, don't think it's bullshit will go see it. So it'll make money regardless. And it still push out the message. Oh, well. Anyway, all right, guys, um, I just wanted to also thank everybody who's been sending me the well wishes. Uh, you know, I had my surgery. Everything went well. I want to thank everybody who reached out and uh, gave me, you know, some get wells and so on. I really appreciate it. But um, this is the kind of videos I'll be making for a while, pretty much sitting down, laid up with my leg up. And uh, every once in the blue, I'll probably make a little something. But that's it right now, guys. All right, guys, thanks a lot for, uh, for checking me out. Be sure to also check out um, my Facebook page, the Sith Lords Merch, in case you guys are still interested in buying any 
new shirts. You know, I'll hook you guys up. Free shipping. All right? This is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. May the force be with you.